Uh, hello. Uh, thank you for joining us today for the five business problems you can solve with an imaging system and workflow automation uh, webinar. Uh, we really appreciate really appreciate you taking the time out of the day to uh, listen to, to to us talk here. So who are you listening to? Uh, this is Steel. Uh, I'm a content specialist here at Microdia. So what the heck does that mean? Uh, spend a lot of my day. Uh, Reading articles, um, keeping up on the, like, the latest trends, seeing what's out there, talking to people in the industry, talking to customers, to, tr to transportation executives, um, and really talking about their business problems and how uh, you know, workflow automation and, and an imaging system can, can be a, play a role in, in overcoming those challenges. So really try to, try to keep a, an eye and ear on what's going on in the industry and, and how things are evolving, especially with the, with the tech trends of today. Uh, so with me here is a uh, is beautiful uh, Jeff Bielman. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, tell the people who you are and what you're about. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, Jeff here. I'm an account and strategic alliance executive at Microdia. So basically I'm in sales and work in partnerships. I also work closely with some of the organizations and mentioned today uh, to help them drive new value into their business. Um, I also like to think myself as a purveyor of cringeworthy puns and dad jokes. I'll try my best to keep that at bay. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to keep that at a minimum um, if possible. But uh, as long as you stop calling me beautiful. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Before we begin, a couple other couple other things of note. You know, we want to say thank you again for uh, taking the time out of your day. We know, uh, you know, you have things going on, and and we appreciate appreciate you. Uh, you making the time, especially uh, we know not everyone's super, super, always super excited to talk about imaging systems and workflow automation, but we'll try to keep the technical jargon to a minimum. Come on, you know I am. I, Jeff Come aside, on. yep. Um, so you've all been uh, placed on mute just so that we don't get any background noise. Uh, you can, of course, use the chat functionality, um, and we encourage you to uh, to ask questions that we'll, we'll address toward the end. Um, and today's session, of course, being recorded, uh, and we'll, we'll 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 be sure to send along after afterward, um, in case you want to listen to something in particular again, or or you want to share it with your team, whatever it may be. Uh, we'll we'll be sure to get the recording uh, to you right after. So, hopping right into the five business problems that we're talking about in in particular, uh, growth. You know, constant challenge for everybody in just about every business, but we'll talk about how, how some of the specifics, um, especially as they relate to the transportation industry. Um, you know, it's a strong freight market, but we all want to grow faster all the time. Uh, missing paperwork. Uh, where is it? <laughs> how can we find it and how can we uh, stop it from going from missing again? Uh, cash flow. Uh, of course, everybody's uh, looking to get ahead. Um, the admin costs of driver turnover, and we'll kind of get into why exactly uh, we're addressing the admin costs. We know uh, the the uh, that 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 part of the of of that that issue, and we'll kind of delve into that. And finally, poor visibility. Um, and here, of course, we're not really talking about visibility into where your trucks and trailers and loads and things are at, but um, visibility into your back office, so into the flow of transactions and your paperwork processes. Um, what's going on in your back office is really what we're talking about there. Um, you know, to hop right into it, uh, growth. Um, growth is a constant challenge, especially in the uh, transportation business. Um, you know, there's, <coughs> uh, it's a fragmented industry for a reason. I believe it's 90% uh, of the industry are, you know, five trucks or less and 96%, I think, or 30 trucks or less. So everyone's trying to grow. Um, and you know it's really hard because it's a high variable cost business. It's an asset based business. Um, if you want to grow bigger, you got to hire more drivers and pay for more fuel, and and uh, you know the costs grow as your revenues do, and and it's hard to achieve uh, you know economies of scale. Um, and of course that that results in your kind of classic thin margin business, uh, which I'm sure uh, I'll, yeah I'm sure we're we're all trying to trying to widen the margins at all times. Right, right. Um, and so how can a minute imaging system and a uh, workflow really play into the solution here? Um, again, we'll use the we'll use the term solution throughout the webinar because um, it's kind of what how you talk about tech solutions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I don't think you know growth is really something we can solve necessarily, but I think it's definitely something uh, we can speed up and 
really the big part of that is about finding solutions that scale better than people. So how can you, you know, do more with less? How can you, you know, increase the amount of transactions that your back office does uh, without necessarily yeah. increasing headcount? Uh, yeah, on that point, it's, I think, it's not fair to say that every transportation business is looking to do this, but I would say most have goals, growth goals, whether they are, you know, their own organic growth right. or through acquisition, obviously it's consolidating industry for years or to be acquired. Everyone either wants to acquire or be acquired and there's an inflection point to get there. And that's kind of where we want to right. be able to help in a certain area. I think also too, it can definitely just apply to growing of profit in particular, not yeah. necessarily, you know, you don't necessarily always need to add capacity to make more money. Um, yeah. And yeah, how does how does an imaging system and workflow do that? It's really about uh, reducing the amount of kind of repetitive tasks, indexing, billing, any kind of any kind of paperwork process that uh, is kind of better done by a computer or a paperwork robot, as we're fond of saying. Um, how can you kind of relieve the burden of all these sorts of tasks that are really quite manual and and often better done um, than a by a computer which isn't really bound by you know they don't need a lunch break they don't have to you know they don't run out of hours in the day um yeah. and then then you're able to kind of find economies of scale in your back office um and so i think jeff as we jump into the the example he'll kind of speak to some of the more specific technologies around mm -hmm. ocr optical character recognition um, index validation and mobile capture but there are kind of a, a bunch of different um, specific technologies that, that, that play a role in, in this, in this yeah, story. Yeah, I mean, we can speak to some of those specifics gradually throughout. I think I'd rather focus on the results, frankly, in terms of growth. So starting with Big G Express, actually, I uh, really like this story. Uh, Big G out of Shelbyville, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, this really represents growth itself very well. So basically, since installing automation software, in this case, Synergize, uh, Big G Express, it, really improved processes for handling different types of documents for several departments. So I know that included billing and uh, accounts payable, uh, but also I believe safety and HR. And so while growing from 250 to around 500 trucks a day, must have been over the last seven or eight years, uh, Big G Expresses needed to add only one person to their team of eight admin staff in the back office that handle billing and driver payroll. So that boost in efficiency provided by automating processes has meant that the average time from delivery date to bill date has been cut in half. So from seven days down to three, it's a great example of you know, enabling growth without necessarily growing the same size in your, at the same uh, rate in your back office. Right. Um, Cannibal Express out of Omaha, similar story. They automated electronic invoicing, uh, reduced admin postage, operating costs, so enabled them to keep their back office costs fixed while their business volumes grew in excess of 30%. Nice. So on to the next uh, challenge, missing paperwork. Missing paperwork. Um, you know, paperwork goes missing. Uh, BO, or BOLs, PODs, accessorials, receipts, trip documents of any kind. Um, you know, they get, get, they get lost for a, for a lot of different reasons. Um, of course, we're all familiar with uh, the receipt that flies out the window. Um, or, you know, spilled coffee on or the carbon copy paper that you can't read anymore. Um, and then, of course, once the documents get back to the office, it's easy to lose them in the shuffle from one in tray to another, from, you know, one, 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 stack, of, one stack of papers to another. Uh, and maybe one gets discarded into the recycling bin or whatever it may be. Um, and then, of course, it's easy to lose them in filing cabinets, especially if you're using filing cabinets. But I think you know, this also applies to kind of the electronic version. Um, you know, if you have a bunch of different file folders and you're not sure which one you're using or, or what kind of system someone has in place, uh, uh, it, yeah, it can be difficult to find um, or, or lost in an email and an attachment somewhere. Right. I think in terms of looking for missing info, uh, and this can present itself in different ways as part of tasks. Uh, but there was a study by McKinsey, I think, last year, where they found that the average um, worker in terms of an office is spending about 1.9 hours. Maybe we can be more specific. What is 1.9 hours anyways? It's two hours. <laughs> Just call it two hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, looking for information. Again, that's often part of other tasks, but uh, it's a big one when it comes to paperwork, clearly. Right. And then, well, of course, that has to do with customer service and compliance requests. Um, if you need to track yeah. something down, uh, if you don't have a good system in place, it could take hours instead yeah. of 
So the seconds, and of course the the real issue here is that it you know can take you longer to bill, can increase your day sales outstanding, and kind of hurt your cash flow if yeah. if you're constantly trying to track down PODs that never really turn up. Um, and so the solution I think here is a solution. Uh, I think with the technologies kind of around today, you can uh, in fact eliminate this problem from your business. Um, so mobile capture applications are becoming increasingly common. I think that's kind of the uh, a, bi a big way uh, transportation companies are using um, technology to, to kind of eliminate the lost in transit problem. You know, it's hard for an electronic version uh, to fly out a window, thankfully. Um, so if you're not, you know, relying on a physical document, then uh, uh, then, it, then it's a lot easier to keep track of. Um, and of course, you know, if you if you are able, to, so a mobile capture application. Sorry, I should say, uh, in case you're not familiar with the with the term, is, yeah. um, you know, when it, when a driver can use their phone to uh, to capture documents. So as soon as they have a signed POD in their hand, uh, they can scan it and get an electronic version sent back to your back office, and that can kind of really open up a world of uh, automation. Um, and so an Im imaging system and and workflow automation. So if you're able to then use a well. Even if you don't use mobile capture, if you use, you know, as long as you create an electronic version of a document at the beginning of your process, you can kind of eliminate the shuffle altogether. So pushing um, an electronic version around to, to various departments or to various people who need to see it um, at the right time, you can kind of eliminate this uh, the sh paperwork shuffle that happens. Yeah. Um, optical character as re optical character recognition and index validation. Uh, these really help with the kind of improper filing, um, and especially I think probably the, the the biggest part of this solution is really about creating a central repository. So instead of having all these kind of disparate uh, file folders or email accounts where everything's stored, you store everything in one place, and then if you're able to um, store your documents and and tag them with a variety of different values, then you're able to search. Um, so instead of you know, being limited by your filing cabinet and, and sorting just by order order uh, invoice number or, or date or whatever it may be. Um, if you create one central repository and then all of your documents are tagged with various values, then you're able to search by a lot of different things. Uh, whether that's invoice number, or invoice amount, or driver, or carrier, yeah. or whatever it may be. And, and you can really eliminate the kind of search and retrieval that can take hours when you're sorting through a, a bunch of different folders or a, um, where I see this, it's, it's kind of like if you can improve the quality of what you get upstream, then it'll be that much better downstream. So this actually bleeds into a few other of the challenges we're going to be talking about, like cash flow and visibility. Uh, but yeah, the gate, I mean, how, quick, how quickly and accurately can you capture that? And then how uh, detailed can your indexing uh, get, basically? How can you store it in, in an appropriate manner to be useful through multiple means later on? A good example here, actually, Really love this uh, this example. So ODW Logistics out of Columbus, Ohio, uh, both asset and non-asset based divisions there. Uh, they were processing, maybe they're still doing and growing in volume, but processing around 6,000 invoices per month in accounts receivables, which used to require like a manual time consuming, typical paper-based process. And the procedure was to print the invoices, match up the supporting documents filed by invoice members specifically, and then make copies of everything to accommodate customer inquiries. So, I mean, similar story for accounts payable there as well. There's a lot of paperwork, a lot of room for human error. So by shifting to an automated process involving scanning all documents and automating the associated workflows, both, um, both the asset and asset based divisions were able to uh, generate more invoices in less time and provide their users across the country with you know, the convenience to look up and review their own documents um, along the way. So that's just one great example. Right. Uh, and again, it does bleed into quality downstream. So cash flow, obviously, you know, cash flows everything around me. It's a big, big topic. Of everyone course. Everyone wants to talk about it. <laughs> everyone wants to talk about it and everybody wants, uh, wants more of it. Um, and, you know, in the transportation medicine in particular, uh, you know, we're often fond of saying it's just as much about moving cash as it is about moving goods. Um, because you got to pay your drivers, you have to pay your fuel, you have to pay your uh, uh, pay your equipment or, or or whatever it may be. Um, you know, everyone wants their money up front, and 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 you don't end up getting paid for 
30, 60 or 90 days or whatever the terms may be. Um, and that can really create a kind of a tr cash flow tread treadmill that's hard to yeah. get off of. It's hard to... Uh, it's yeah. an arms race, really. It's like transportation is about finance more than tr trucking itself. Yeah. Right, right. Um, and, you know, that can really make it hard to get ahead, um, hard to hard to plan for the future. Um, and so the solution here where, where, where an imaging system and, and workflow automation can really help is really all about automating your billing. So how can you bill faster rather than waiting for the end of the week or whatever it may be? Uh, how can you bill kind of almost as soon as assigned POD is in your driver's hands? Um, how can you how can you automate the process so that uh, so that you're really reducing your day sales outstanding by by not taking those days to bill? Um, I know Jeff, you're often fond of talking about even if you're able to reduce your day sales outstanding by a day, what 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 that can do for your business? Yeah, I mean, often the companies we work with can save much more than a day. Right. Uh, you know, talk about sometimes you know the thirty percent range terms of cutting the day sales outstanding but I mean even for a small trucking company let's say you're doing 10 million dollars a year saving one day off of your DSO I mean that's 27 28 thousand dollars in your pocket right what would you do with that right where would you go um, yeah and then of course <laughs> if you can reduce it by <laughs> by by even larger or you have a bigger business or whatever it be um, you can really get a one-time injection of funds that can really help you get ahead yeah. um, I don't know where. <laughs> maybe maybe not so much if you end up going on vacation with that money instead. But <laughs> not, uh, not going to grow your business. Not going to grow your business. Not going to pay back your debts. You're uh, just going to just going to go. Uh, but it's a fun problem to have. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, so a few good examples here uh, in terms of cash flow. Uh, Royal Trucking out of West Point, Mississippi. This is a more recent story. So on the billing side, when a load is delivered, drivers scan the documents in the system with their smartphone. So still are using uh, like a mobile capture like we were speaking of and uh, that means that electronic invoices can be generated way faster so within minutes of completing uh, a load delivery um, and since switching to automated an automated system their invoicing times actually been reduced about 10x so to less than a day from over a week and their unbilled revenue as well has also decreased by over 10x so to about twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars at any given time, whereas it used to be in the more of the five hundred, you know, half million dollar range. Uh, really meaningful for a business like that. Right. Um, similar story with Sunset Logistics at uh, Fort Worth. So they set up automated and paperless billing to help eliminate errors and actually cut their billing cycle from uh, fifteen days to less than one. Pretty impressive. Wow. All right. So the admin cost of driver turnover, of course, uh, driver turnover is kind of a notorious problem, I would say, in the industry. And, and of course, with the strong demand, uh, freight demand out there, the driver shortage is, is something we all have to deal with. Um, and of course, uh, I think workflow automation and kind of an imaging system and, and some related technologies, I think, uh, can at least play a part of that story. And that's really about, about the admin costs um, associated with, with all this. So um there's a lot of paperwork that has to be done which i'm sure you're, you're all too familiar with whether that's you know managing the driver files doing all the applications filling out all the forms um it can really uh really really be a burden for your for your hr or for your back office staff um can be time consuming and, and difficult to manage and uh, of course at the worst of times if your process is too slow or cumbersome um, you know, a driver might be already on to the next company, uh, especially with the demand that's out there today. Um, you want it to be as seamless as possible uh, to really rec recruit the best drivers out there. Um, and so where, <coughs> where an imaging system um, and workflow can kind of play a part here is really standardizing the recruiting and onboarding process. Um, and then integrating, you know, those forms with, with, your, with your transport management system. So, uh, if you can take an application and, and automatically, when it's accepted, for instance, automatically feed that information into your into your system to automatically create a driver file so that someone doesn't have to do that manually, that's a lot of time saved. If you can, um, you know, set up some rules when it comes to your application so you discard ones that uh, where a driver doesn't meet your qualifications or 
if information isn't um, you know complete and accurate, you can send it back to the driver. It's really finding different ways throughout the process to eliminate some of those tasks that are again better done by by computers. And of course, you know if you can really eliminate all this kind of administrative burden, then you can really allow your HR staff to you know put the put the human back in human resources and and really uh, really focus on building relationships and on recruiting drivers and, and really adding kind of the personal touch that's really important for for attention and and for recruiting the best guys over the long term. Yeah, I like that putting the human back in in HR. Um, in terms of solutions, we by the way we do have a uh, driver recruitment solution and actually a, a webinar that can be shared. You can check that out after as well. Uh, but more so, how can sure. That's where you want people to be working on that, but how do we actually get them out of the paper shuffle, right? So here's a good example, even more of a primal example of, of that with USA Truck out of Van Buren, Fort Smith area in Arkansas. Well-known, you know, top US carrier, thousands of uh, drivers, and also on the truckload side, they also have the USAT Logistics Division as well. Uh, so the HR department before was using a, a legacy imaging system to scan and convert all paper personnel files for uh, for drivers and this presented them with a number of challenges so things like cumbersome or time-consuming indexing really ended up resulting in a, back, a year's backlog of paper documents uh, so a solution provided uh, on our site here is a simple process for attributing various classifications to documents tied to the challenge actually we were just speaking about still a few minutes ago you know missing documents right and uh, being able to better attribute the details. Uh, this basically helped HR with faster and more effective searching and, and made required files instantly accessible. So the result was after only two months of using the new system, USA Truck was able to eliminate a year's worth of paperwork backlog and uh, allow their HR staff to focus on recruiting and training. Great. All right. <clears throat> so the fifth and final problem we're going to talk about today, poor visibility, uh, again, into, into your back office in particular. So uh, with the amount of paperwork that needs to be done, it can really be difficult to kind of identify, uh, you know, where, where is it building up? What's taking too long? Where are there pro like problems with, your, with how your process is kind of interacting with, with a certain customer? Um, who has too much work to do? Who doesn't have enough? And how can you really... Uh, get a handle on all of it on the process so that uh, you know you're better able to predict your cash flow. You're better able to do uh, enterprise resource planning. You're you're better able to get a sense of kind of what's happening and, and how you can make progress with with increasing efficiencies, finding efficiencies, um, doing the work faster. Um, and where kind of workflow and and an imaging system can really play a part here is really all about you know creating a process, controlling that process, guiding it. Um, and then over time improving it. So one of the specific ways is really about workflow queues. So you can see uh, how many documents a person needs to file or sign off on or whatever it may be. Um, and you can really track the, the whole life, life of, a, of a document from cradle to grave um, and really get a sense of where it's spending too much time, where the bottlenecks are. Um, and kind of the, the more you're able to do this over time, uh, the faster and faster your process can get, and of course that enables uh, better planning, more reliable cash flow, and, and a lot of the other sorts of things that we've been talking about today. Um, yeah, so as an example, we chose actually Coke Logistics, well-known 3PL based out of uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, so visibility and processing has improved for them across a few different areas there. Um, users can actually securely search for and retrieve their documents from a central repository uh, directly through our application Synergize, of course, and also through an integration that we have with their transportation management system or their TMS. It's a common integration point for us. Um, but I would say even more important than that is that uh, by automating their workflow process, it's provided them with enhanced visibility into the whole process. So it allows them to identify and, and relieve those bottlenecks that may happen at individual desks. So meaning uh, no more misplacing or sitting on paperwork, you know, in the, the sneaker net of, of documents that used to exist. Right. What this has meant for management as well at Coke is that they now have better reporting and visibility into processing at all times. Customer service reps can now also better focus on, you know, service and audit rather than looking for and pushing paper. Perfect. Um, 
So yeah, just to kind of recap what we talked about today, I think it's really all about how an imaging system, an automation engine can really drive an efficiency out of your back office. Um, and when you're really able to do that, you're able to get rid of a lot of the, kind of the repetitive tasks that are uh, quite time consuming um, and and are really better done when, with, with an automated solution. Um, you know, over time you can make your processes more efficient, more controlled, you can streamline your document management uh, process, you can speed up indexing and retrieval and really take away a lot of the burden of, of the administrative work that needs to be done and really allow your people to not just work in your business but work on your business. Um, and that can really have a lot of knock-on effects uh, that are really quite valuable. So. As a result, you know, it's easier to grow, cash flow increases, paperwork doesn't go missing, admin costs of driver turnover are reduced, and visibility into problems and financial standing improves. Um, you know, the bottom line is like there's truck, trucking or transportation is definitely, you know, it's always going to be a, a thin margin business. Um, but the more better able you are to drive an efficiency out of your back office, you can really um, you know, find some meaningful solutions and, and try to expand those margins and, and really add some some meaningful ROI to your bottom line. All right, well, that's really all we got for you today. Um, you know, thank, we want to thank you again for joining us. Uh, you can see our contact information here if you do have any questions for, for Jeff or I. Um, you know, we're always happy to get emails from uh, from people. Jeff, you got anything, any last words for... Yeah. Yep. If there are any other questions uh, through the chat box, we'll address them here as well um, uh, directly to you after the session. So thanks for joining. Yeah, we really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, have a great day. Take care.